Okay, today's lesson. Apocalypsis 19, 1, 8. All right, that's Revelation 19, nice. verses 1 through 8. Yeah. And uh, the title is Marriage of the Lamb. Francisco Coyasa. Roger. All right, take it away, guys. <laughs> Revelation, verse 19. And after these things, I heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying, Hallelujah, salvation, and glory, and honor, and power unto the Lord, our God. Buenas tardes, hermanos. En esta hermosa tarde vamos a compartir la preciosa palabra de nuestro Señor Jesús. Y en esta ocasión vamos a compartir lo que es Apocalipsis, del 1 al 3. Y leemos la palabra del Señor, honrando al Padre, al Hijo y al Espíritu Santo. Y dice, después de esto oí una gran voz de gran multitud en el cielo que decía aleluya salvación y honra y gloria y poder son del señor dios nuestro porque sus juicios son verdaderos y justos pues ha juzgado a, a la gran ramera que ha corrompido a la tierra con su fornicación y ha vengado la sangre de sus siervos de la mano de ella otra vez dijeron Aleluya. Y el humo de ella sube por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. Amén. Gloria a Dios. Revelación 19, verse 2. Ok. For true and righteous are judgment, for the height judge the great poor, which did corrupt the earth with our fornication, and hate and vent the blood of his servants at all times. All right. Revelations 19, verse 3. And again they said, Hallelujah. And her smoke rose up. Forever and ever. Verse 4. And the four and twenty elders and their four beasts fell down and worshiped God that sat on the throne, saying, Amen. Hallelujah. Apocalipsis 19, 4. Y los veinticuatro ancianos y los cuatro seres vivientes se postraron en la tierra y adoraron a Dios, que estaba sentado en el trono y decían, Amen. Aleluya. Verso 5. Y salió del trono una voz que decía, Alabad a nuestro Dios todos sus siervos y los que le teméis, así pequeños como grandes. Verso 6. Y oí como la voz de un gran de un gran multitud, como el estruendo de muchas aguas, y como la voz de grandes truenos, que decía, Aleluya, porque el Señor nuestro Dios Todopoderoso reina. Amén. Amén. All right, today's reading, coming out of the book of Revelation 5 and 6. Verse 5, and a voice came out the throne, saying, Praises of God, all ye his servants, and ye that feared him, both small and great. 6, and I heard as it were the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of the multitude of thunder, and saying, Hallelujah, for the Lamb of God opened a rain. This is the word of God, blessed to the reading and the hearing of God's word. Amen. Amen. Lesson is marriage of the lamb. But real kid can't think on Kong Luke care. We won. Kohai Pogra soon chom yin di let's dead di chai let the wife prabad me that pro own pros to me la somewhere Kong Luke care let just have for pro own day diem to a pom lao. Amen. Apocalipsis 19 Gocemos y alegrémonos y demos de gloria porque han llegado las bodas del Cordero y su esposa se ha preparado y a ella se le ha concedido que se vista de lino fino, limpio y resplandeciente porque el lino fino es las acciones justas de los santos Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his wife that made herself ready. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine lining, clean and white. For the fine lining is the righteousness of saints. Okay. Hey, thanks for joining us again for a lesson. This one is uh, for November the 21st, 2021. Uh, Thank you for all the guys that read the scripture and for our translations for Spanish and for our special translations for in Thai. Uh, 
Uh, today's lesson is coming from Revelation 19 verses 1 through 8 and uh, it's called the marriage of the lamb. So we're going through the first eight verses of chapter 19. Of course Revelation has 22 verses. All things uh, with the Lord are done decent in order. And we'll start off with our prayer from the guys all sure. That Let us pray. Lord, you're everlasting and unchanging. You are worthy to receive every honor and praise. May we, like those in the book of Revelation, celebrate your reign forever with eternal hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you for our prayer. And once again, thank you for our readings and translations. So, Revelation, uh, you guys who have the Amplified uh, Bibles and uh, y'all that have the English Standard Version, uh, they, they have subtitles for this, for this chapter in 19. Uh, the first five verses, uh, the subtitle is The Fourfold Hallelujah, and uh, the Spanish version says Alabanzas en el Cielo, uh, like praises in heaven. And the, from chapter 6 to the end, it's uh, Marriage of the Lamb. So the title of the whole lesson is Marriage of the Lamb. And a key verse, uh, which we did in both English and Spanish, uh, is verse 7. So without further ado, we'll get straight and go through it. Uh, verse 1, And after these things I heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying, Hallelujah, salvation and glory and honor and power unto the Lord our God. Ooh, so y'all know that's in uh, the songs. Hallelujah, salvation and glory. So uh, we, we, we turn a lot of these things into songs, and sometimes it's a song already. Uh, so Moses sung songs, Miriam sung songs uh, of rejoicing. Uh, because some about when you on the Lord's side and he brings you to victory and you see that he is your provider when you recognize them th those things you can be happy and you know when we happy we'll start singing you know uh, singing in a shower <laughs> so uh, you know uh, when we give God the praise and the glory and the honor that and he's worthy and you know when what praises go up blessings come down wow so uh, wow it's, it's is it just becomes easier and easier to give God the praise and the glory and honor because he indeed is worthy. Verse 2 says, And true or righteous are his judgments, for he had judged a great whore, which did corrupt the earth with her fornication, and had avenged the blood of his servants at her hand. So uh, the, the great whore, Babylon, whenever uh, sin comes, uh, a lot of times it's, it's judged as uh, like, like, like sexual uh, violations. Uh, uh, whenever Israel turned away from God, God said, uh, oh, you, uh, like in the, in the book of Ezekiel, uh, you committed fornication with, with, with idols. And, and whenever you worship anything other than God, are you putting something first before God? Uh, God, we serve a jealous God. And we, as men, we, we jealous too. We don't want our wives, uh, okay, hey, uh, you're giving your attention to another man. Uh, you, you're giving your attention to something else that, that it make it seem like that we're not as important to them. And then vice versa, the wives may be jealous of you. If, if uh, well, hey, uh, I know when football time come, okay, I know that that's your two hours, but what about after football uh, before the football game, <laughs> they want their time too. Well, God want His time, so we got to make time for God. We got to make time to read His Word, and guess what? It's for our benefit. Hallelujah! The Psalms uh, tell us about the benefits of God, but we'll, we'll keep going here. Uh, verse three says, and they uh, say again, Hallelujah! And her smoke rose up forever and ever. Hallelujah is the highest praise. Hallelujah, we praise the Lord, and Hallelujah. It's hallelujah practically in every language. <laughs> and the four and twenty elders of the four beasts fell down and worshipped God that sat on the throne saying, Amen, hallelujah. <laughs> so the, here we go with the uh, twenty and four elders. Remember we talked about that in the last lesson, that when we, we think about elders, we think about people that been there, done that. They have been through these situations like that, that we have faced here on earth. And there's no... Uh, 
no situation where there's not a way to escape from the evil of it. So just, just keep that in mind. And that's where we all have choices. The Lord always gives us a choice. But the elders show that, hey, well, this is what we need to do. We need to be worshiping God, saying amen. Amen means I consent to this. Amen. This, it, it, that is it. I agree to it. And hallelujah, I'm giving you, O oh Lord, the highest praise and the glory and the honor. Mm. So, uh, verse 5 says, And a voice came out of heaven, out of the throne, saying, Praise our God, all ye his servants, and ye that fear him, both small and great. So God has no respect of persons. And we might say, well, I'm, I'm of small stature, so he's not going to see me. Huh? <laughs> just, just think, we can't look through the natural eyes and see what God sees. Because God sees the heart, and he knows the thoughts and intentions of the heart. Hallelujah. So we got to get our hearts right. Lord, forgive us of those things that we have done. Uh, help us to repent from sins and evil ways. Help us to, because uh, we know that what comes out of the mouth can defile a man. So we know when we're cussing out another man or cursing him, oh, have mercy on us, Lord. We, we got we to gotta learn how to start blessing God instead. <laughs> Hallelujah. So let those things fly out of our mouth. Oh, praise God. Oh, this is a good day today. Oh, praise God. I thank you for the safety of love for, for all the men and for our families at home. Praise God. We got a, uh, some newborns and, uh, from our offshore men. So praise God for that. Praise God for uh, those about to get married and those who have married. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord for our families and friends and children and even our enemies because they're helping to mold and shape us to be the men and women of God we need to be. So uh, we, we fear him. So those that fear the Lord. So the fear of the Lord is what? The beginning of wisdom. Knowledge of the holy is understanding. That's in Proverbs 9 and 10. But it's, uh, it, it's throughout Proverbs 1, 7. Proverbs, the, uh, uh, the fear of the Lord, the fear of the Lord, the fear of the Lord. So we go from uh, giving God the praise to uh, the marriage of the Lamb, which is the title of the lesson. Verse 6 says, and I heard, and this is John with this out-of-body experience, and I heard, as it were, the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of mighty thunderings, saying, Hallelujah, for the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. So, I will say this here. You know, and I know, and you know, and I know, that when we have a a righteous ruler, a man with principles, a man, uh, and, and he's an authority uh, with, with true moral values, you can appreciate that man. So if it's a, a wicked man, and you can tell like, oh man, if you're not uh, related to so-and-so or whatever, uh, he gonna tear you up. It's like, oh my goodness. You know, it's like, well, we pray for the next election to come quick. <laughs> But I'm just saying, when the righteous person is there, uh, people rejoice it. And when the wicked one is there, uh, people are oppressed. So if God reigned it, uh, you can't be more righteous than that because he is pure. He is love. God is love. He who abides in love abides in God and God in him. Oh, my goodness. God is love. So just think, if, you, if he's reigning, which he is, uh, it's somebody that loves you. And he may chastise you. But he chastised those that he loved. So don't think, ooh, I'm going through this, and, and I'm the only one going through this, and I'm the only one going through that. And uh, uh, the Lord must not like me or something. Or something. No, he loves you. And sometimes uh, if he tell you, don't put your hand on the stool like you would tell a child, sometimes that child go and put the hand on the stool because, well, I don't know, I want to see for myself what you're talking about. Ooh! And get burned. Okay, well, hey, sometimes we got to go through things in life and we might get burned too. But, hallelujah. But we learn. Hopefully we learn so we don't go put our hand up there again. Uh, let me put the other hand. Maybe that was the right hand. Let me try the left hand. No, you know, we don't want to be foolish. We want to be wise and gain wisdom as we go through our walks of life. So the key verse is verse 7. And it says, Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife had made herself ready. So what? God, uh, the Lord Jesus is coming back for a church without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. We want to be part of that. When the saints go marching in, oh, I want to be in that number. When the saints go marching in, yeah, we want to be there. We want to be rejoicing. And uh, those who have gone on to glory already, 
hey, just to be caught up in this rapture. Oh my goodness, but it, what, a, what a day of rejoicing that will be because, hey, when we with the Lord, the Lord, we don't even need sunlight because he is our light. The Lord is the light. And we even sing the song, Jesus is the light, the light of the world. Hallelujah. He is light. He is everything. So, you know, what, you're hungry? Hold on. From two fish and five loaves, he fed the multitude of over 5,000 and still have 12 baskets left? Ah, what a mighty God we serve. <laughs> Verse 8, which is the last one for our lesson. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteous righteousness of saints. Hallelujah. So Babylon is to be judged. And sometimes there's, there's a catalyst that, that influences you to do bad. And it looks like they're getting away. Well, here we go. Uh, God sees all, and he will judge Babylon, the great whore. Hallelujah. But his saints, hallelujah, shall be there arrayed in fine linen, white robes. Hallelujah. White is what? A symbol of purity. Fine linen. So not, not no trashy, cheap stuff that will just tear easy. You know what I'm talking about. But, hey, uh, fine linen. Hallelujah. So this is to be arrayed very, very elegantly. And, 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 and would, uh, would, just the good stuff. I'm going to just say that. I'm going to just simplify to say the good stuff. Because with God, God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. So we thank you for tuning in. Make sure uh, we put Jesus first in our life because he, he is our everything, our provider, our protector, uh, even to dress us up when, when, the, when the times come. But he'll be a judge, so how you want to meet him? You want to meet him as a judge or as a savior? So when we give our lives to Christ and know him as uh as Lord, thou, thou shalt be saved. So believe in your heart that, that he died for your sins, because he did. That's how much he loves you. God, what, John 3.16, he sent his only begotten son. So he gave you heaven's best, the sacrifice, just so you could be righteous. Hallelujah. Be washed in the blood of the Lamb so you could wear the white robe. So we all want to wear our white robes, fine linen, the best. Hallelujah. We don't have to go to the polo shop and get it. God provides. <laughs> So we thank you, Lord, for, for all that you do for us. In Jesus' name, amen. We'll have our final prayer in English and Spanish. Let us pray. Praise to you, God most high. Glory to you, Lord of heaven and earth. Thanks be to you for your gracious gift of Jesus, your Son and our Savior. May our hearts give praise to the kings of kings and Lord of lords. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Alabado seas Dios Altísimo, gloria a ti, Señor del cielo y de la tierra. Gracias a ti por tu generoso regalo de Jesús, tu Hijo y nuestro Salvador, que nuestros corazones alaben al Rey de Reyes y Señor de Señores. En el nombre de Jesús oramos. Amén. 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 Thank you. Amen. Thank you for our prayers, uh, English and in español. <laughs> uh, thank you for all the guys that read. Uh, scripture uh, for English, or Spanish, and Thai, our special uh, bonus language of the, of the day. So thank you for all our translations. Thank you for those guys offshore. Thank you, Lord, for the safety of all the guys offshore and for our, the safety of our families at home. Thank you, Lord, because you can control it all. We can't do nothing about it when we're out there working. And even when we're home, you know, we we limited on what we can do. We can, we can help. Uh, after the fact, but now nah, God knows before the facts. <laughs> so thank you, Lord, for, for being there. Uh, the, uh, our next lesson is uh, it's going to come from the book of Acts, chapter 10. It's going to cover verses 34 through 47. We'll have uh, some uh, Spanish translations in that uh, lesson as well. So we thank all you guys for uh, the verses, for the translations. We thank our pastor across the third for the use of the church for this ministry. And it's dedicated to all you offshoremen. Y'all stay safe and hope to see you next time. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.